first of all, that avalanche danger could even be extreme after Monday and Tuesday snowstorm. But right now we're inside one of our live trucks driving down Little Cottonwood Canyon. I'm going to turn the camera around just so you can see the amount of snow here on the side of Little Cottonwood Canyon, but also in front of us, you know, you see some traffic from people hitting the slopes up a little bit earlier today. UDOT was here actually majority of the day and night yesterday working on avalanche mitigation. The entire state is at some sort of avalanche risk right now, and UDOT actually triggers them themselves here because they threaten roads and they could also threaten people's lives, of course, if they are human triggered. Little Cottonwood Canyon was closed uh, yesterday morning to about 4 p.m then closed again uh, about after midnight. And the canyon was hit with uh, roughly six inches yesterday, but of course you can kind of see it, see the snow uh, piling on. That amount could even double, even triple with that snowstorm coming on uh, Monday or Tuesday. I spoke to an avalanche forecaster. He says this will most likely put that avalanche risk uh, out, um, out too extreme. It's at high right now, but that avalanche risk obviously could be extreme after Monday uh, and Tuesday's storm. Even better to be on the lookout. Make sure if you are driving up here after Monday and Tuesday, it's important you have your snow tires, have any sort of snow socks, uh, any tire studs. Make sure that you are able to get up here, have four-wheel drive. Those traction laws uh, could be into effect after Monday and Tuesday. Um, our Jeff James is standing by in the weather center. He's got the latest essentially on these dangerous conditions. Monday and Tuesday could see so much snow. So Jeff, uh, I'll let you take it over to see what we can see in the next couple of days. Yeah.